I often find myself extremely susceptible to wearing the same things every day in the winter. Whether that's because I'm too lazy in the morning to be bothered to figure out how to look cute and like layer correctly, or just because I run out of time. So today I've tried to pile as many ideas as I could for winter outfits. Keep in mind, I live in Pennsylvania, so most of these outfits will be for that sort of weather. And I also wanted to give some options for class environments, work slash like business casual slash more formal environments, and then comfy. To start my favorite color of the season this year, and I think a lot of people are on board with me for this, is the color red. I love adding some sort of red to my outfit because I think while also trendy, a dark or cherry red can read as pretty classy. To participate in this trend, I needed to scrounge through my closet for red items and I really didn't come up with that many, but I do have a couple ideas. To start, I'm gonna style an outfit around this red tank top from House of Harlow, but I think I bought it at Marshall's for like, like 15 to $20, somewhere in that range. And also keep in mind with this outfit that you can switch it up for pretty much any red top and it'll look just as good and give the same exact effect. So I'm wearing the House of Harlow maroon tank. I'm wearing black Urban Outfitters jeans with platform black boots and a black raincoat, but please substitute the black raincoat for a black puffer coat, a black leather coat, biker coat, moto jacket, etc., etc., etc. This is just the only like black jacket that I had on hand, so. And if you swap out the jeans for black sweatpants and the boots for Converse, it looks more casual, but it still gives off that same effect. I think this would be a great outfit to wear if you were going to class or if you were going to meet friends, just somewhere a little bit more informal, but you could still be really cute and cool and look super sick. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going off script. This is my script. Sorry. For the next look, I wanted to do something a little bit more formal if you were going to be in a business casual setting or if you wanted to go to work in this outfit, you definitely could. I'm wearing a red Barame dress, tights, a black turtleneck, and a black headband. It low-key feels like academic to me. Like I haven't seen the show Gilmore Girls, but I feel like this is something, from what I've seen online, I think this is something that Rory would wear. Is that the one with the, um, the dark hair? They, oh my God, I mean the, like, She's like piercing eyes. I don't know. The main character, the girl, like the daughter, not the mom. Anyway, but I really like this look and I think that it could be super cute in a bunch of settings. So take that as you will. And then finally for this red trend, I wanted to lean into something a little bit more comfy and try to style this pair of pajama bottoms. Now, if you'll notice, they're not all red, but they do have a pop of red in there because they, I think, were some like Christmas pajamas. I really leaned into the Christmas spirit with this fit, starting out first with a white Urban Outfitters top. I think this look is really cute, especially with a bright red lip. This is the, I think in this one I'm wearing the Revlon really red lip. And I really like this look. I think it's so like cute if you want to like go on a date and like Netflix and chill maybe, like this is a really cute option. I also tried to style the pants with a gray sweatshirt and a matching gray headband. I wanted to make it a little bit less Christmassy. I don't know if that really happened because the pants are Christmas like patterned, but I, I tried my best. Also, I do wanna note that the pants are quite thin, but as with pretty much all of the outfits that I'm gonna be showing you, so have this as the standard, you can layer fleece lined leggings or fleece lined tights under, which I personally is my life hack every day. I will wear them under sweatpants, I will wear them under jeans, I will wear them under trousers, any type of, I will wear them under skirts. I like have worn fleece lined leggings under like basically everything I've owned when it gets pretty cold because I don't like to be cold. I don't know about you guys, but like, I'm not meant for the cold. All right, so that was pretty much all that I've tried to do with the red trend. Another color that I want to bring in from fall is brown. I really have been liking the color brown lately and I wear it all the time. And I personally think it goes pretty well with all of the other things in my closet. And I think that kind of goes as a standard for 
most everyone else too. I don't think brown is a color that doesn't look good on people. So outfit number one, my class look, is this brown crew neck sweater um, that I got from my dad, so I'm not sure of the brand. And then I have fleece tights on with biker pants. shorts. Pants, I'm wearing pants. Blue Converse, and then I like layer my plaid coat over top. I think this is cute, like, it's kind of adorable. And the reason that, this is kind of an out there outfit, but it's so earlier this fall, the no pants trend was like in full effect and I wanted to take part, but it got cold really quickly, hence fleece lined leggings. I think this is really cute and super wearable and I have worn this to class already and I plan on wearing it again, so. For the second outfit for brown, I like really leaned heavy into the office slash business casual side of my closet. This outfit is perfect because it gives you layers. Matter of fact, I was sweating just trying it on and it's totally acceptable for pretty much any setting. So here I'm wearing tan trousers from Gap, an Ann Taylor dress shirt, a cream sweater, and black pumps. And you can definitely dress it down by simply changing out the heels for Converse or Docs or whatever you have laying around. I really like this look and I like was like, oh my God, like corporate America is calling me because I just look so good in this, clearly. Maybe that was made for corporate America. For my comfy look for the theme of using the color brown. I am pairing this cheetah turtleneck that I got on ThreadUp for, um, also from Gap, I think. Gap or Ann Taylor. With my Taylor Swift Eras Tour merch, like her blue crew deck, cause slay, um, and Penn State sweatpants. Um, this is such a comfy look. It's perfect for staying in and going out. If you just swap the sweats with some jeans, you can still be super comfortable and warm and also still look super cute. And again, you can layer on a winter coat over this. You can layer a winter coat on everything that I've shown you today, but I just showed you the, the bare bones of the outfit because my winter coat is not gonna be the same as yours, as yours, as yours, as yours. So yeah, oh my God. Finally, so as to not make the video longer than it already is, one closet staple that I have on hand during this winter is a black long sleeve shirt. So mine is from Free People, I'm actually wearing it right now currently i just think it fits just absolutely whoa i was gonna fall just like absolutely the best it's my favorite piece in my closet ever and you know as such i'm just going to speed run outfits with it really quick again keep in mind that pretty much all of these outfits can be layered with fleece line leggings or fleece line tights underneath okay we're gonna do speed round all of the outfits that right now I can think of making with this shirt. I know it's basic. Number one, obviously, just the shirt and jeans. Looks great, very presentable. You can dress it up very easily. I don't know if I'd like this, but I actually really do. So, I actually wear this one quite frequently. Um, but mostly it's like during fall or like spring. Now I'm thinking, Audrey, why would you wear a skirt to Hey, wear leggings or tights or literally anything underneath. You'll be just as fine. You look just as cute. And yeah. So okay, this is what I also wear a lot, and I either wear it normally with either a baseball, well, either a baseball cap on or like a black jacket. So it's just a little bit to that bit. Sorry. This is a good base for any outfit. Um, with a nice dress, gray pants, black shirt. Okay. You know, I could do that with this, or I could do this and double gray. Um, I actually made this. I love wearing it. It's actually really warm. Despite the millions of holes in it. Alright, that was the last one. I'm not doing it. Okay, so hopefully you took some ideas away from this. I definitely liked visualizing what I had in my closet and being able to put together looks that I can wear this winter. You should definitely look into your own closet to see what you can adapt and maybe what pieces you can see with a new eye for this winter. Anyway, thank you for watching. That's all I got. <laughs> Have the best day.